How you doing guys? Big Mac Dancer here again today, back once again with another Conquest Magazine review. Wow! So, first of all, before we get into great detail about what's in the magazine, let me just point something out to you. There's been a slight change of scenery here, and that's for very good reason. Um, I've sent my phone in for repair, so there's a slight difference in quality of picture and sound, I would have thought. I've also had to move to against the wall basically because the I was the the phone that I'm recording on at the minute because I've sent my phone in for repair the phone I'm recording on at the minute the front camera is not actually working on it or the 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 regular out facing camera so I've got it on the selfie camera and you can't zoom in on it so um I am unable to get the background the way I like it. Um, so basically, I've just flipped you around so I'm standing against the wall now. So, what's in this Conquest magazine? You'll see this is the issue with Lieutenant Calcius on in the magazine. Um, it comes through with the magazine. Looking at the sprue of the miniature, it's it just looks really, really nice in my opinion. That um, Really nice mould, really nice um, quality, which you expect these days from GW. Just looking at the little fine details and it seems like a shame that I'm going to be scraping off a lot of U's because those Ultramarine U symbols, um, they're, they're like really crisp on there and everything. Uh, some laurel wreath details on the head and helmet etc. So let's chuck that to one side because I'm not going to be uh, looking at that much. I'm going to be looking at this. What's in the magazine? It's a, another okay issue to be fair. Um, this issue, they introduce you to the idea of lieutenants and how Gilliman introduced lieutenants when he returned from his time in stasis, his 10,000 years or so in stasis. And then he uh, changed the Codex Astartes to include lieutenants because he thought there was a, a role that needed filling on the battlefield of the 41st millennium. So he introduced lieutenants to... Basically, lieutenants can be in charge of... A battle demi company so instead of 100 marines they're in charge of 50 marines and you get two in a in a company and um, there's a captain in charge of the company obviously as well well i say obviously you may be new to the hobby and new to the uh, warhammer 40,000 universe so it may not be obvious to you um but there we go that's the that's the lore update um it gives you a brief introduction to this character lieutenant calcius who is the miniature you get uh I have stated on previous videos that I won't be using him as that character. I'll be using him as a an ultra, no, not an ultramarine, um, an imperial fist lieutenant. So I'll be converting him. What that means, I'll be um, altering the miniature to suit my needs. Um, so I'll be shaving all the U's off, like I said, and adding possibly adding um, an imperial fist chapter symbol, etc., etc., um, in order to suit my needs. So Lieutenant Calcius has got particular experience fighting against Death Guard and also against Orcs. And guess what? It's October. Orcs. October. Fantastic. They're even getting into Conquest. So they're introducing Orcs here in this um, only very briefly in the same way that previously they've introduced Necrons to you. It's, it's fluff heavy this issue really. Um, it's got uh, Nova Thulium uh, is a planet an imperial agri world the agri world is an agricultural world or a farming world that was invaded by orcs and then there was a task force of ultramarines sent to defend it after the the imperial guard that garrisoned the planet were overrun by the orcs so it's um, a nice little the the sort of introducing the imperial guard to you the orcs are introducing all these different aspects of the warhammer 40,000 universe and I, I really like that side of things, so I'm always going to think something like that is good. It's a good idea. Um, moving on, it goes to goes into the assembly as it always does. Um, points out that there's numbers on the sprues to tell you which part is which. Talks about clipper safety again. And um, yeah, onto the assembly. Uh, it's got some... Oh, the yellow bits in here. I didn't realise, but I, I actually read the assembly bit in this one. Uh, the bit where you see bits of yellow, like here, here, there where you apply the plastic glue. Um, but I'm not really, I'm not needed to look at the assembly bits because I've built 
the kits that I've got, I've built them all before anyway. They're, they're pretty simple kits, they're designed for newer players, so these easy to build kits. Anyway, on to painting, uh, there's no paint in this issue. The If you're talking about the value, that I've, I normally do this bit at the start, but I forgot. Uh, if you're talking about the value of this issue, I have mentioned it on previous issues actually. Um, this, a lieutenant miniature for other chapters like the Blood Angels and the Dark Angels and Space Wolves, a lieutenant miniature will set you back around £15. So, uh, the value of this itch issue is slightly under double the price you pay for the magazine. If you're buying the miniature direct from GW, that is £15. You can get it from third party retailers, probably for as little as £12. Um, but still, good value I'd say. Although some people don't like paying um, that much for a single miniature, because you can get squads of miniatures for that price anyway, for certain armies. And uh, yeah, so after that, it talks about painting him. It gives you a nice painting guide with all the paints you've already got, and you can get him, get the results looking like this, which is a half decent paint job. It'll look okay on the tabletop just to uh, be moving your miniatures around. Um, it's not bad, not bad at all. So, on to the next bit. Um, again, in the battle bit, in the gaming tutorial bit, it's got a nice bit of fluff at the start. Command deck, and it int introduces the idea of the lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Calcius, overlooking the battlefield. He's on the command deck and he's directing the defence of the Ultramarines battle barge from that position. He's telling the squads where to go and where reinforcements are needed, moving his men around to support the um, the the serfs and the crew of the ship. Um, and then it tells you what you'll need. You'll need the battle mat, and you'll need all the miniatures you've got apart from the reavers. So the Space Marine reavers aren't used in these battle reports or in these um, example battles, battle tutorials. But uh, yeah, you use the Pox Walkers, the Death Guard Plague Marines, Lieutenant Calcius, and the Intercessors. Space Marine Intercessors. And then it gives you the stats. Um, it introduces power weapons to you in this issue as well. Um, power weapons are, in law-wise, they are basically a weapon that's got some kind of a charge going through them. Uh, there's power fists, which are really good at crushing. Uh, we've seen them in previous issues, actually, because one of the Death Guards got a power fist. But there's better rules for it in this, in this particular issue. Um, and there's power swords, which are really good at cutting through armour. And um, yeah, so that's uh, that's my brief introduction uh, onto uh, power weapons for you. It also introduces you into the idea of aura abilities. Now, an aura ability is ability I have mentioned again on previous videos because I suspected this had come with the lieutenant model. Um, an aura ability is ability where that a character more often than not a character has, and. In this case, Lieutenant Calcius, any friendly units within a, with at least one model within six inches of Calcius can re-roll wound rolls of one. Uh, you cannot re-roll a dice a second time, even if it's another one. So basically, the, the Lieutenant makes your other units better, as long as they are within a certain distance, in this case, six inches. So let's say you roll to wound, you, you hit your target with all your shots with the intercessors, so that would be six shots all hitting the target. And then you roll to wound, and you roll three fives, which are three wounds against the death guard. And then you roll two fours and a one. So you get to re-roll that one, and then it moves on. So again, it's it's introducing you little by little to the to the wider rules of the game, to, to the complete rules of the game, if you like, of the Warhammer 40,000 universe. And they seem to be getting getting on with it quite quickly now. Um, if you've seen my previous video related to Conquest, it was an issue, a preview of issue 7 and 8. Basically, in issue 8, I think it is. Uh, yeah, in issue 8, we'll be getting a librarian, Primaris librarian. So they'll, they'll then introduce the idea of psychic powers as well, which is it's really a, quite a quick introduction. But it allows them with a phase as well, psychic powers. Yeah, and also it introduces the idea that shooting at characters. In Warhammer 40,000, you can't shoot at a character unless they are the closest enemy model to the unit that's shooting. Um, it just uh, gives you a brief description of that in there. 
So it's giving you, it's making the game slightly more complex with each issue, which is, is the way it should be really. Um, if you want to show someone how to do something, you might show them a quick and easy way first, and then you show them a better way next. And then um, it goes on to give you a mission, uh, and this mission, basically, you've got to keep Lieutenant, the Space Marine player's got to keep Lieutenant Calcius alive for five battle rounds, and the Death Guard player, they're pox walkers, whenever they're completely wiped out, they get to bring the unit back. So they've got an endless supply of pox walkers. The Death Guard, um, they can get wiped out. The Death Guard Plague Marines, they can get wiped out. So uh, it's it's introducing new tactical challenges as well. Uh, the idea that you've got to use your Death Guard to try and take out Calcius, because they're the ones that are going to be able to do it more easily than the pox walkers. Use your Death Guard to try and take out character, uh, to try and take out the character Calcius, and then use your pox walkers to try and tie up the intercessors. That's the kind of uh, tactic you might want to employ in that battle as a Death Guard player to try and uh, gain advantage. And then uh, it gives you more rules for the Power Fist, which is good. Um, so the rules for the Power Fist now are a lot closer to what they actually are in the in the regular Warhammer 40,000 game. In this case, the Power Fist hits on a 4+. plus. Um, normally, Death Guard would hit on a 3+, plus, but because it's a big, unwieldy weapon, it hits on a 4+. plus. The Repugnus, uh, the character in the easy-to-build Death Guard, um, he has two attacks as well now. They give him an extra attack because he's a Plague Marine champion. He's um, The Power Fist wounds on 2+, plus, uh, because it's a really strong weapon, so it wounds on 2+. Plus. There's no armor save against it, which is a really good thing. And also, it causes 1 to 3 wounds. So what you do, you roll a d6, and then you divide that by 2, rounding up. So if you roll a 5, for example, you divide that by 2, which is 2.5, rounding up to 3, and then that's how many wounds you score. Um, so uh, Lieutenant Calcius, uh, just for reference, has 5 wounds, I think. I'll just double-check. 5 wounds, yeah, which I imagine is the standard for a lieutenant. Um, and it gives you the rules for the bolt pistol for Lieutenant Calcius as well, and tells you you can shoot even if he's locked in combat. Um, the enemy has to be within 1 inch. To shoot, there we go. So that's that. Um, also at the back, it gives you uh, the idea of guidance. So you can go into a Games Workshop store for a little bit of guidance. You can log on to the Warhammer Community website. And um, that's it. It just uh, gives you a few websites and Facebook pages to go to. Oh, and it gives you the classic subscribe at the top. And then a preview of the next issues. So the next issue is issue six. And that will contain three more easy to build Death Guard miniatures. Now, the Death Guard miniatures, I think the rules for the Death Guard so far have been that they've got a bolt gun or um, the, a plasma gun. I imagine in the next issue they'll introduce the rules for the Blight Launcher. And the Blight Launcher in Warhammer 40,000 is quite a useful weapon. Um, I can't remember its stats off the top of my head, but I just suspect, I wanted to say this because I suspect they'll introduce those rules in the next issue and make the Death Guard kind of a fair bit stronger with that because they'll have two blight, two blight launchers, two plasma guns and two bolt guns which are alright. Um, and then it'll make them quite strong and then they'll introduce the Librarian because the Librarian will be quite a strong character against just the, uh, just the Death Guard forces that are arrayed in front of them. Uh, the Librarian added to the other Primaris forces. And after that is the issue, which I, I mentioned this on the preview video I did, uh, with two washes in. Now, these are the two big washes, so that'll be a value of um, £9 or something like that. But there's always going to be um, issues that are slightly lower in value, because if they made everything an amazing value, they would end up losing money, which they don't want to do. So, there we go. That's that issue. Let me know what you think of it, if you've got it yourself. Um, I have, I think I mentioned this on previous videos, probably mentioned it on last week's and on Saturdays, I've subscribed now to Conquest Magazine. This isn't my subscription issue though, I went to, I asked them in the shop um, that where I had been buying it to order this in for me, because I was unconvinced I'd get this issue before I needed to record this video and get it uploaded. So I think it said allow 14 days for delivery for your first delivery. Uh, so I ordered it last Tuesday, so they've got till 
hopefully next Tuesday I'll have it before then. If I do, then I can review issue six in time for you. And then fingers crossed I'll get the next delivery shortly thereafter. But if not, the conquent the, the conquent the conquest content may become a bit more sporadic. What I'll do instead though, if I can't do a conquest review for you of the issue, um, I'll just show you how I've been getting on with the miniatures, something along those lines. Or um, discuss, maybe I'll, maybe I'll play the game and discuss my thoughts on the scenarios in the game in more detail because I've actually played them rather than just talking about them in theory. Um, so stay tuned for more conquest content and I will see you on the battlefield.